No, we're going to keep it a little bit smoother today. Don't want to do nothing right. All right now. All right. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever? And the you know she just cannot be found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever? Ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about some uh, not-so-intelligent people. I want to explain the situation to y'all, and I'm hoping some of y'all are going to understand. Now, I want y'all to get something right now. It's 100. Let me look at the thermometer outside. It's 110 degrees outside. Don't worry about it. It's 70 degrees inside. No air conditioner. Somebody, one of the neighbors was moving, and he was getting rid of a bunch of stuff, and he sold me a swamp cooler for $10. The only thing I had to do was put in a new bushing. So I paid somebody to do that, and I replaced the uh, water tube, and that was it. And so, yeah, you might as well say in total... Probably about sixty dollars altogether. It's out of my head. Oh, I don't wanna do wrong. Sorry, y'all know I can't play New Birth in the background. Okay, New Birth, one of my favorite groups. Now I gotta talk to y'all about something, okay? In a moment, I'm gonna play Trevor Noah, and his uh, little brother. And his little brother's conversation, because I think at the end of this video, I'll play that. I think it is very important that I make sure that people understand that I understand. Didn't get it at first, like Trevor. I didn't get it at first, but I get it now. And I'll also say one other thing. I made a comment about um, Mr. Kevin Hart when he was doing, and I do have a lot of respect for Mr. Kevin Hart. He was doing the Emmys, and not Grammys, Grammys, Grammys. He was doing the Grammys. Oh, no, he was doing the Oscars. Sorry, Emmys, Grammys, Oscars, they're all the same thing to me. Well, anyway, and I didn't know that there was a particular group that wanted him to apologize for something. That wasn't the way the news was putting the information out. They were just saying he didn't want to do it. Like, you know, he, for no reason whatsoever, he didn't want to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't make any sense. Then to find out that he apologized, and they still were wanting more. So, you go, Kev. Okay? 100% with that young man. So now I understand why he didn't just go ahead and do it anyway. Just like Ice Cube. Turning down $9 million on principle. Ladies and gentlemen... I give individuals like that some credit. Being a person of principle, that says more than enough about you. So let me explain to you the principle here. There is a company known as Binance. Binance is the largest cryptocurrency trading platform on the planet. They are a foreign corporation. Binance in my opinion, not a bad corporation at all. However, Binance, they act in kind of interesting lately. I knew they were going to retaliate when we filed our counterclaim, and I told the people to anticipate and expect that. But what Binance is trying to do, <laughs> poor idiots, they're trying to make everyone mad at me. They have stopped allowing people to trade for the last two days. Two days straight, no trades. The entire platform that we're on, no trades whatsoever, not a single one. Ladies and gentlemen, there is millions of dollars at stake. And these people are acting a fool. But they don't understand. This happened right after I followed the countersuit 
and counterclaim and the motion to intervene. And they want to act the fool. So I'm going to give them just a moment to rethink their stupidity. And yes, I said stupidity. It makes no sense. They know that that's retaliation. They know I'm going to use it. We've asked for a jury trial. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. The judge is going to end up appointing an attorney, and I'm going to make sure he hammers on these points because nobody's going to settle. I guarantee you that's going to be my point. Now, here's the next thing they're going to do because this is the tactic. They're going to attack me personally. See, right now they're attacking me from an angle, trying to make everybody angry because I did something. So now it's to make everybody angry at me. It's a simple, stupid tactic. And by not allowing people to trade, look, ladies and gentlemen, the counterclaim specifically said $1,000 per day split between Binance and the SEC. Look, SEC, the idiot just did a interview, Gensler, the director, uh, chairman of the SEC, just did an interview with Congress yesterday at a hearing for appropriations, meaning he was going there for budget, and he says they do seven to 800 cases with the SEC against individuals every single year. Seven, eight hundred, and they say most of them, they settle. Okay, well, what are you guys doing with the money? Why are you coming asking for more money from Congress? What are you doing with the money? He didn't speak on that. They asked him about the audit and the financing, and he wouldn't talk on it. But then they're asking for more money. So that's what we're interfering with, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what that's what's necessary. So what's happening right now is they're blocking access to people for them to trade. They're also blocking access for them to take their money from the platform. So because they're blocking both access, they're actually holding their funds hostage. So that's extortion, ladies and gentlemen. They did that because we filed a suit. So I'm going to go after them for extortion. Not going to amend no complaint. All of that information is already in there. They're going to hate Americans, but I don't care because we just only ask these intelligent people to act fairly, to do things the right way, to be honorable. And they're acting in dishonor, and that I don't understand that. See, the one thing I understood about individuals who were of Asian descent, that they were more honorable than most people. I mean, look at Job. Job was an Oriental. Yeah, I know people don't like the word Oriental. But that's what the scriptures call him. Go ahead and notice that the scriptures say he was from the Orient. Okay, sorry. Uh, one of those cattle trailer vehicles carrying a cattle trailer just drove by my property doing 60 miles an hour. So that was my distraction. I apologize. I just looked, saw a trail of dust and had to look to see what type of vehicle it was that was moving that fast, uh, making that much noise. And yeah, it was... Uh, Vehicle carrying the travel trailer uh, for horses and cows. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the situation. Let me make sure you guys understand. I've done the last three videos for one reason, one reason only, to document the record. What record? Well, the record that these individuals are about to try to paint. See, they're going to try to undermine me. They're going to try to speak against me. It's okay, I anticipated that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I know I have the right to do legally to get their attention. And I promise you what I'm about to do to them will hurt them a whole lot more than it will hurt me. I don't know why they are misunderstanding me. And yes, I know that the court is going to obviously take sides and it's not going to like the fact that I'm coming in there the way I'm coming at them, but they're just going to have to live with it, get over it, around it, and get through it. Ladies and gentlemen, now, I'm going to pause this. That was my new verse in my background. Give me a second while I play the Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah. One second. One, two, three, four. No, not yet. I have to turn up the volume. That's the first thing I have to do. And then this is it right here. And my youngest brother said one of the most beautiful things one day. We were trying to have dinner as a family and we're taking quiet moments and you know someone came over to the table and they're like hey can i get a selfie and, and this is happening in the dinner and you know and 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 someone who was with us said oh man that must get annoying and i was like well i get it and i said i just don't understand 
the familiarity and the I, I don't understand it truly. And my brother said one of the most interesting things. He said, No, what you're not understanding is a disconnect in your relationship, in the relatability. He said, You've met them and they've talked to you and you've had a conversation with them and so they've built up a relationship with you but they don't understand that you haven't been building up the same relationship with them and so they he said they're reacting to you as naturally as they would had you been conversating with wow, them wow yeah and so he said if anything they're acting normally mm. you're acting weird ladies and gentlemen i'm acting weird i'll be right back i have to go Speak to the guy who just went and got something for me. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the mouth of babe. I told that story, but I think the way Trevor and his brother said it was a whole lot better than I could say it. The very fact that his younger brother was able to recognize that audience, when they are viewing something with actors, performers, or radio personalities, they are hearing these people every day. And many of those personalities don't recognize that these people are hearing them every day. Michael Jackson, he had no idea that people were listening to his music like a religion over and 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 over again. And then you wonder why people go crazy when they see you because they're just hearing you and they just want to, oh, I want to touch him. Oh, is he real? So I get it now. I promise you, until I heard Trevor Noah say that three days ago, I didn't get it. But that younger brother, whether he heard it on TV, it doesn't matter where he heard it from originally, or he came up with the concept on his own, wisdom. Because a lot of people could learn from that. So I want to give all of you my word. I won't take you for granted. Now, I, I know you know I won't. I know you know I haven't because this is the way it was before I went on vacation 24 7. Seven days a week. And most of my waking hours is spent trying to help you all out. All right, now look, I got to go because I got to get ready for this lawsuit. Uh, the, think, the thought, the mindset, and everything is there. I just have to put the outline together. So, what I have to do is I create the story, feed it into the system, and I have the system create the outline, and I come in and I fill everything in, then I have the system summarize it, and then I send it to the court. That's right. I use the system to my advantage, and it don't constitute as legal advice because it's all my words. You know what I'm saying, Burn? So, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, there is one song I want to leave y'all with. Okay, this is my boy Teddy. When somebody loves you back. <laughs> and that's a fact. Okay, I'm going to take us on out of here with Teddy. Because out of all the singers that have come and gone, many of them have left an indelible impression. But Teddy Pendergrass, man, this boy could sing. All right, y'all take care of yourselves. And just know we got your back. And to be loved in return, got to go.